in the time before time, far beyond all you imagine, there is an island paradise where legends are real. Protected by six mighty guardians, threatened by one immortal enemy. Their unity, their duty, and their destiny I must shatter. Only a mask of light can defeat the darkness. Trust in the mask. Let it be your guide. Mask of Light, the movie. The seventh tour has begun its approach. Must I release those who should never See the light of day. Go, my sons. Use the shadows and keep my brother asleep. be worn only by a seventh Tor. The prophecy is being fulfilled. The mask threw all its light upon one Matoran, Jala. He must be the herald of the seventh Tor. It seems the mask of light has chosen you. <laughs> Must be here. The destiny I must shatter. The Bionicle story is about a reluctant hero who travels across this fantastic world of Mata Nui, Paradise Island, uh, in search of his destiny. While he will be, you know, forced to face his fears, it's a great adventure. Once the producers had their script, then they could dig deep into the characters and really get to know them. 
You're seeing these characters with personalities, each individual personality and how they interact with each other. Once we started creating them and bringing them to life, it's almost like they came to life and started telling us things. You'd be working on the character and you'd go, he would say this. It started to have like a real life to it, a real soul. And that was to me one of the biggest surprises. Like, all of a sudden it just, it, it started creating itself. But they had to be really, really careful about keeping Bionicle, well, Bionicle. The biggest consideration I was thinking about was being honest to the loyal fan base we had. Producers worried about how fans might react to some of the additions that were made to get the characters ready for their close-ups. The Bionicle characters are very action-packed. They're doing very exciting things. The prime function of the character in an animated film is that they can act. We needed to change the models in such a way that they could really act. For them to be playing Coley or climbing rock walls or doing things without hands would be really, really challenging and limiting. So we needed to give them hands so we could take the characters, who they are, and take them to the next level of performance. We didn't want to take it three steps above, elongate things more. We wanted to just add on top, but not change the, the basic groundwork that's already been laid. If you look at how someone speaks and works and communicates in a normal setting, they use their mouth, their eyes, their eyebrows, and you know, their hands to express themselves. We didn't give them great big giant hands. And we kept them simple and we're not trying to draw a lot of attention to them, but we're using them the way they should be used. We did that with the very expressive eyes that we, we added to the characters. And it's reflecting a sense of emotion.